our administration and you will see for yourself, we got all of this chocolate running the city. So either the chocolate melted or the feds got diabetes. Either way, you just got indicted. <laughs> We're going to talk about that a lot more. So stay tuned. What up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Red Ace Talks. Yes, the show that we talk about everything and anything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for the support. I see the subscriptions. I see the comments. I see the likes. I even see the dislikes. Comes with the territory. <laughs> so breaking news. New York City Mayor Adams. Who I, like to call, I like to call, anyways, Mayor McCheese is... Supposed to be getting indicted tomorrow by the feds. It's being reported by the New York Times. Everybody is talking about it, so why not us? <laughs> Anyways, before we get any further, though, I just want to ask you guys, if you guys like the video so far and have not done so, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, the little bell icon that we notified about future ready production videos. Now that the pandering is done, we're done, baby. We're done. I see the comments down below. Yeah, boy. I see it. Let's get on with the sup. Yes, Eric Adams is supposed to be indicted tomorrow, but the writing was on the wall, honestly. that's I think that's why everybody's reporting it, because the writing's on the wall. I mean, his administration, most people's administration anyways, had their houses raided. He had, he had his phone seized. A lot of craziness happening. But let's just watch what's going on. Reported by Fox 5 News. New York, baby. New York. Anyways, let's see we're going to go now to Sharon Crowley, who's outside Gracie Mansion, with a look at what the mood is like there tonight. I've heard it's quiet. Is there anything going on right now, Sharon? Well, I wouldn't exactly call it quiet. There is a media frenzy outside here, outside the gates of Gracie Mansion, and we've seen a black SUV that is similar to the one that the mayor usually rides in, but I couldn't say for sure if he was in that SUV, the NYPD here, as they always are, and, of course, a lot of people who live in this neighborhood coming over to see what's going on. Now, Mayor Adams, uh, they want to see him get locked all of up. this started happening, <laughs> we were working on another story because, as uh, Morgan and all of us have been mentioning, a number of of the mayor's inner circle in succession, yeah. including his chief counsel, yep. uh, the police commissioner, yep. the school's chancellor, the health yep. commissioner, all yep. resigning uh, and the, in the school chancellor's case. By the way, most of them had their houses raided, just especially the co police commissioner. Matter of fact, the interim police commissioner, the interim, the one that is like right now sitting at the spot, he had his two properties raided by the FBI. That's how bad this corruption is with Eric Mc Mayor McCheese Adams. <laughs> All that chocolate, baby. All that chocolate. <laughs> what a clown. What a fucking clown. Yes, we can curse right now. We can curse. What a fucking clown. Mr. New York is a brand. Well, man, that brand ain't good. It hasn't been good in a long time. But anyways, let's continue. It's retiring and all of that, this drip, 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 seemed to be accelerating. But as I said, we saw the mayor today. He was also interviewed on a local news station, giving no indication that this might be coming down. I want to introduce you to the incoming chancellor. Look at him. Chancellor Melissa Avelis Ramos. Mayor Adams welcoming the incoming schools chancellor. I have your back and we're going to get stuff done. Yeah. Melissa Avila. I call right now. Her house is probably going to get raided <laughs> within next week. <laughs> she better hope that she has nothing to do with Mayor Adams' inner circle, honestly. <laughs> because she, it's going to be like Goldberg with the, fed, the feds would be like, you're next. <laughs> As Ramos will take over after Chancellor David oh, Banks man. retires at the end of December. He says his departure before the end of the school year was planned and had nothing to do with the federal investigation yeah, swirling I'm sure. around top uh -huh. staffers at City Hall yeah, sure. or the raid on his home that he shares with his partner, Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright. After four <laughs> years, I'm tired. <laughs> and that's the God's honest truth. He took a plea deal. That's what happens. 
Banks is one of four top leaders who recently decided to leave the Adams administration. I was right about all four that resigned took a plea deal. That's why Mayor McCheese is finally going to get indicted. They probably gave the feds enough evidence to give Mayor McCheese the indictment. Gave the feds the okay to give Mayor Adams the indictment. Yes, I call him Mayor McCheese, by the way, because he had that shit-eating grin when he was like, New York is a brand. <laughs> and all the migrants came in and he didn't know what the fuck to do with them. And now everything is running amok. He, he wanted to talk down about people in the, south, in the South, calling them racists for the migrants. And then when they finally came to like our doorstep, and he was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Even though we were warning him, listen, don't poke the bear. Don't poke the bear. But he did. A list that includes the health commissioner, the police commissioner, and the mayor's chief counsel. These ongoing federal probes have engulfed top-level members of the Adams team. Most of these people had their houses raided. This is this is his little inner circle right here. Oh, that chocolate! <laughs> Got their fucking houses raided. And their relatives. The mayor himself had to briefly surrender his phones relating to whether his campaign took foreign donations. That was the first sign, by the way. When he had his phone seized, that's what got him on the radar in the, in the media. That something was up. That was a while ago. I remember they were talking about that, like, what, like six, seven months ago? I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments down below, because I, I didn't do my research with that one, but I know it was a while ago with the whole phone situation. And that, I think it was, it, it went on my radar. I was like, oh, something's happening. Like, just some corruption going on with Mayor McCheese. And honestly, if you ask me, before I play any further, if you ask me, I think this whole thing goes even higher up. If you ask me, higher up to Corella DeVille herself, Kathy Hochul, because she's been very quiet. Let's check this out, though. No one has been charged with any wrongdoing. I haven't seen a case where so many investigations are swirling around the orbit of one individual in the name of the mayor. The shakeups at City Hall attracting attention in Washington. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeting in part, I do not see how Mayor Adams can continue governing New York City, adding, for the good of the city, he should resign. I would love to see AOC be part of this inner circle. Like, I would love to see AOC be part of a big corruption scandal. She needs to go, too. She has failed her district. She has failed her people. But yet she scared she used scare tactics to have her people vote for her. Okay? She has done nothing for them. She always hides out in Washington, DC, in the you know, in the house. Either that or like when she finally comes to her district, when she finally goes to her district, what I should say, she basically like it's all photo ops. Photo ops. She has a lot of protesters at her you know, at, at, at her, you know, supposed of like, you know, meetings and stuff like that. She's been called out so many times and she's been having that adopted shit eating grin. I can't call her McCheese though, because that goes to Adams. But yeah, she needs to go too. Matter of fact, I, you know, for real, I think it was three members of the squad already got ousted. Like they're done. Like the squad, the whole squad needs to go. Whole squad. They've been. Very big disappointment. They bent the knee to Nancy Pelosi. That's what happened. They didn't want to force the vote for Medicare for all and all that stuff. No, they bent the knee to Nancy Pelosi. For those people who are Bernie Sanders fans, like I was a Bernie Sanders fan until I found out that he sold out. I told you, I used to be a liberal. Now I'm more conservative. Okay? Because being conservative makes more sense as being the party of the common sense. But seeing her, very big disappointment. And she thinks she's all that, too. Believe me, I could do a whole video about her, but let's Mayor continue. Mayor Adams responded to her tweet in an interview on News 12. I don't listen to those comments that come from uh, a, you know, just basically a no-show congresswoman. The mayor is getting some support. <laughs> Yo, he said exactly what I said. Yo, I didn't see this. I didn't see this. I heard he got indicted. I wanted to share this with you guys. I have not seen his response. I didn't even know he did a response. Yo, props to Mayor McCheese. 
that's the, probably going to be like one of the two props because he was warning people about the migrants, but he waited too late. Nobody wanted to listen to him. They were like, oh, we still need you know, homes and stuff. And he was warning them like, we can't do this. I was like, all right, I'll give him credit when credit's due, but it was way too late that you know he finally realized this, and this is going to be the second time. The no-show congresswoman, because she does not go to her district. Listen, she is up for election for this year. People, if you are watching this and you live in her district, do not vote for this woman. I'm being dead serious. I'm being dead serious. But you know what? I, I can't hope. I, I, I can only hope, but I already know that she's a, a, a running. I'm sorry. I, I know how it goes. I know how it goes. Let's see Hakeem Jeffries, what he has to say. Report from House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. As far as I can tell, Eric Adams is working as hard as he can uh, to be the best mayor I possible. I apologize. That's the clip. And meet the needs of the residents of New York City. Yeah, that was like a lot of feedback right there. Given what we know now, listening to Hakeem Jeffries, as far as I can tell, the language that he used uh, earlier today. Now, as we said, we have not seen Mayor Adams come out here at Gracie Mansion. We have seen a number of SUVs, typical in the ones that he usually rides in, come and go from here. But we can't say for sure whether he was in one or he is still inside here at Gracie Mansion. But I think it bears repeating. He did release a statement tonight that says, in part, if I am charged, I am innocent and I will fight this. That part of a statement released earlier tonight. That's the very latest from Gracie Mansion. As I said, as soon as we get new information, of course, we will bring it to you. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. So I knew that was going to happen. He's going to fight. You remember, he pulled the Biden. Biden. Remember Biden did that? Oh, I'm going to I'm going to keep on running until Nancy Pelosi and Obama and the rest of them did that whole Game of Thrones thing. Dun, 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 dun. They went to they all gathered together, knocked on his door <laughs> and they were like, listen, Joe, you you got to go. <laughs> well, this time it's going to be AOC and uh, Kathy Hochul, you know, I, I can see it happening. I could see it happening, man. I could see it happening. So, yeah, you know, it runs deep. And the, the, I think the thing that really um, sparks the tinfoil hat, as people would say, <laughs> um, let's get that hat with, from Decoy Voice. That guy's awesome, but uh, the, the beanie with the, the tinfoil. <laughs> Anyways, uh, props. Like, a big shout-out to Decoy Voice. There you go. Anyways, uh, but... If you ask me, though, is that I think, the, you know, when they said those, those people's, you know, houses, when they, you know, got raided, that there is no charges or serious charges, whatever, I think they took a plea deal. I think there was going to be serious charges. They got pressured into taking a plea deal and giving them information because Adams is the one they wanted. Adams is the one that was running the show. But like I said, another tinfoil hat theory. I think Kathy Hochul might have a hand in it as well because it was being reported that what was it? One of her um, her, her employees was a Chinese spy. Let's we'll check this out. This all connects, if you ask me. A former aide to the governor of New York has been charged with acting as a Chinese agent. North America Co uh, bureau chief Jade McMillan has the details from Washington. Well, Linda Sun worked in a number of different roles across the New York state government, including as the deputy chief of staff to the governor, Kathy Hochul. Yeah. But what federal prosecutors are alleging is that when she was in those roles, she was secretly acting at the request of Beijing to try to benefit the Chinese government. She's alleged to have done that in a what? number of ways, including blocking Taiwanese representatives from getting access to the governor's office and also by trying to arrange for a New York state politician to visit China. And what's also alleged is that she was receiving economic benefits in return, including gifts and travel and also millions of dollars in transactions for the business of her husband, who has also been charged. Now, they have both appeared in court today and pleaded not guilty to these offences. A spokesperson for the governor's office says that Linda Sun was fired last year after alleged misconduct was uncovered and that it has been assisting with the investigation yeah they try to cover their tracks like oh well we fired her last year you know no just like how adams 
uh, administration is ratting him out, like I discussed before. She's going to rat out Hochul. Tie that right now. This happened three weeks ago. This What we saw is three weeks ago. Hochul is going to get charged. And she's going to be joining Adams. Because people are going to be calling for her resignation as well. These are terrible people. At In general and at their jobs. Listen, I give Adams a little bit of credit. Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Hochul, I will never give credit. Adams, a tiny bit. Like I said, the first thing with the migrants, him, even though it was way too late, he already he dug his own grave with that shit, you know? Oh, well, you know, you guys are racist down south, you know? Uh, New York is a brand. <laughs> with that shit-eating grin, which I call Mayor McCheese. But then he realized when they all came in, oh, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. Kathy Hoko, on the other hand. Oh, yeah, the second thing was the, the AOC thing. You know, sorry. That's the two things I wanted to... The AOC thing got me laughing. Come on, you got us... I, I'm pretty sure I got us all laughing on that one. I, I did not expect him to say that. <laughs> the absentee congresswoman. <laughs> so, burn on uh, AOC. But anyways, Kathy Hoko, on the other hand, when that whole migrant thing happened, she was like, nah. Sanctuary City is a New York City thing. You know, good luck. And, like, I, I I, can say this. Like, the congestion taxes, I don't want her to do it. I don't want her to do it at all. But she could do it any time. But why? Why has she not done it? Because she knows that if she does it with this, what I just showed you, out, people would be protesting against her as well. With the, with people should do be doing anyways. People should be doing that. She's a horrible governor. Horrible. Very, probably one of the worst governors we ever had. Yes, me. And by the way, before, uh, you know, you get it all twisted, like you got what you voted for, you got what you voted for. Listen, Staten Island, Long Island, upstate, parts of Queens, a little bit of parts of Brooklyn. They vote red. Yeah. Believe me. I used to vote blue. Well, I used to go for the blue. I used to be on the blue side. And I never understood why, like, you know, the borough I was living in was red. <laughs> now I do. I have my eyes wide open. I know. I'm doing a Creed arms wide open thing. But, you know, changing the lyrics. But still, you know, that's that's what happens. You know? You wake up. We should be woke. We should be the definition of woke. <laughs> but no, that's the lefty thing. That's the woke. That's, that's the woke stuff. That, that's what Kathy Hochul and Ad Mayor McCheese Adams wants. Corella DeVille and Mayor McCheese, they wanted that. Cater to the woke. Just like Kamala Harris tells you, stay woke. Stay woke. And just like my former video, I explained that if you're woke, woke people, they're depressed. They want you to stay depressed. So they could oppress you, keep you suppressed from actually achieving anything. That's my theory, though. But still, it is what it is. So, what's going to happen? Mayor McCheese is probably going to be dieted tomorrow, according to the New York Times, because they got good resources when it comes to this. I mean, yeah, people don't like the New York Times, but when it comes to inside information... You know, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not going to say, oh, he's definitely going to be indicted tomorrow. But it, the writing's on the wall. If it's not tomorrow, it's going to be very soon. Because he was the one that they originally wanted. That's why all the people in his administration had non-criminal you know, criminal offenses, even though they had their houses raided. Listen, you know people have their houses raided. They're going to, they went to jail, right? They went to jail. These people took a plea deal. They took a plea deal, they barked like a fucking dog, and they, they ratted McCheese out. Okay? That's what they wanted. Or, like I said, this could be a situation where they went hokel because of this situation I just showed you. Where they finally get McCheese, they pressure him to see if he rats out Hokel. That would be funny. 
That would be funny if, like, they actually had him rat out Hokel. I don't know. Anyway, this video's gone long enough, honestly. This is a long video. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Until then. Until next time, I should say. The past, the present, for the future. Keep it real, guys. Stay safe. Stay tuned. And see you later.